shortly. And with this stretch of heat, many people will be heading to pools to cool off, but not all of the pools will be open. Matt Petrillo is in Brewery Town this afternoon with more on where people in Philadelphia will be able to cool off and why some city pools will remain closed this season. Matt. Hi, good afternoon to you. Yeah, we're outside the Athletic Rec Center here in Brewery Town. Take a look. The pool here still needs to be cleaned and filled before it opens July 10th. And almost 50 city pools will open this summer, but more than two dozen city pools will not open this season because the city is having difficulty hiring lifeguards. The city's Parks and Rec Department says it's been working around the clock to hire pool staff. Starting pay for lifeguards is now $15 an hour. and the city will pay for the Red Cross lifeguard certification. Still, Mayor Jim Kenney says there's a workforce shortage and blames that $200 of extra weekly federal unemployment benefits. Every industry in the country is having trouble getting people to go to work. I suspect when the, when the, when the assistance runs out in September, people will start getting, but that's not going to solve our problem this summer. Uh, we're, we're working on it. We're trying to figure out innovative ways of doing it, incentivizing people to come in and, and work, uh, but it's just, it's just been a hard thing to get people to want to go back to work. Now, the good news is more than 50 city pools will open this summer on a rolling basis. That begins on Wednesday, and the city's spray grounds, well, they are already open. We have a full list of those on our website, cbsphilly.com. Reporting live in Brewery Town, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Matt. Meanwhile,